Hi friends, let's discuss top 10 Spring Boot annotations today. First one is Spring Boot application. Spring Boot application annotation is used at the start class of the Spring Boot. That annotation is equal to three annotations. First one is enable auto configuration. Second one is Spring Boot configuration. Third one is component scanning. Without this annotation, we can't start our boot application. Okay, second one is component. At the rate component annotation is a class level annotation that is used to represent our Java class as a spring bean. When we use this annotation at the class level, IOC container will create the object for that class. Third one is configuration. At the rate configuration annotation is used at the class level. It is used to represent our Java class as a configuration class. If you want to customize any beans in your application, then we can declare those methods by using configuration class. Fourth one is bean. At the rate bean annotation, that is method level annotation, if you want to create your own object and if you want to represent that as a spring bean, then you can write one method. For that method, you can use at the rate bean annotation. It is method level annotation. Fifth one is scope. At the rate scope annotation is used to represent scope of the spring bean. By default, spring bean scope is singleton. If you want to specify any other scope like prototype request session, then we can use that annotation at the class level or at the bean level. Sixth one is auto wired. At the rate auto wide annotation is used to perform dependency injection. We can use this annotation at three places. At the method level you can use, at the constructor level we can use, at the field level also we can use. Okay, seventh one is controller. At the rate controller annotation is used to represent our Java class as a spring controller. Controllers are responsible to handle the request and response. Eighth one is REST controller. REST controller is used to represent our Java class as a spring bin, that too as a distributed component. It is used for B2B communication. Ninth one is request param. Request param annotation is used to read the data from the URL available as query parameters. Query parameters will represent the data in the form of key and value. Based on the key name, we can read its value with the help of this request param annotation. And last one is request body. Request body annotation is used to read the data which is coming in the request body. In general, when we are sending post request or put request or delete request data, we can send in the body. To read that body data to our method parameter, we can use this request body annotation. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video guys. Please follow this page to get more updates on Springboard.